Hey guys, welcome to part 16 of Let's Make an RPG tutorial. As you can see, we have our movement code with keyboard, and we're gonna change it to mouse movement. To first, let's just make the character follow mouse without clicking or anything. So, for example, if we move our mouse here, the character will walk towards the mouse. If you move it here, you walk there without clicking. Then we'll do clicking once we get it correctly. So we don't need this or that. So we can get rid of all of this. We do need the time check, and so we so it does only so it's not frame dependent. And we won't need those four booleans so we can remove those okay well keep the time check okay so this can be done sim simply by checking the posi position of bob and comparing it with the position of the mouse so first we have to keep track of mouse position, which is integer value. So let's just call it mouse x, mouse y. Mouse x equals zero, mouse y equals zero. So we define it. And here inside the loop, let's do it after begin. Um, do SDL underscore get get mouse state and it wants pointer of a pointer x and pointer y. So we're doing going to do reference mouse x and the reference mouse y. This will basically set mouse position inside this function. So now mouse x is actually mouse position. And mouse y, mouse x is actually mouse x position, and mouse y is actually y position of the mouse. So now we can check this inside here. So if x position, Bob's x position is greater than mouse x position, then we will move Bob. Well, for now, let's let's just ignore this. We'll see how it works out, but just copy that and make it less than, and we can cut this out for now. So we have those two if statements, and just let's check if it will follow. Character will follow us. No, it's opposite as you can see. So just reverse this to minus, and this to plus, or you can change those around. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So as you can see, the character follows us on X position. Now let's make him follow us on Y position as well. So we can do another statement checking Y position. Get Y. If get Y is greater than mouse Y. If, oops, I didn't do brackets. Okay, up get y is less than mouse y so we can just copy that and change those two y's so if we want to move down I believe this is negative. I might this might be opposite, but yeah, it's opposite. So now it kind of goes away from my position. Uh, so let's change those. Okay, so you can see he follows the mouse. It's not really the way we would want to do it, though. First of all, he goes to this point to the. We want him to 
like because imagine you clicked now and he goes there it's kind of like it does he doesn't go directly there he kind of goes so for example okay we're in this corner and if i go to like down and right he kind of goes and then slack goes like this and then that instead of straight to the point and that's because we're adding basically let's draw this in paint it's easier to understand so uh, so this is where you clicked and this is where character is so we want to go directly to that point but now instead of going directly to that point he kind of goes like like that and then that because he keeps adding the same value instead of adding one value along the line you add you're adding then checking oh you don't need to add anymore and you go down so it's not really the way good way of doing this so we need to change that a little bit and also we need to change so he goes he doesn't go to the corner of the image so um let's go to pop so you can see he goes to this corner and we want if we click somewhere you want his feet to be there so we want him to follow from this point so if i click somewhere his feet will be at that point instead of this corner because that doesn't really make sense so first let's fix the movement so because this is causing this problem with the movement he doesn't go directly towards the point he kind of goes like wrong way so first we need to this will require us to um, uh, normalize the line, the line basically we need, well, we'll need to get distance between to get this working correctly, we'll need to get distance between where you clicked and pop. So it would be best to create a function called like get distance. And you pass in x1, x2, y1. Actually, no. y1 x2 um, and y2 so it will get the uh, position between this point and this we're not going to use vectors because for now this is just for teaching but it it would be best to create like two vec create like a class vector 2 and it will start those two positions and we pass in those two vectors here, so we just put pass two values instead of four, but don't worry, let's just do it this way. So we pass two four values, two for each point, so x and y for each point. So now this is gonna be some basic maps. C main get distance. Let's just copy that. So we don't have to rewrite this. Okay. So create a double and let's call it difference x. Create another double called difference y. Different difference x is x1 minus x2. So to get the difference of x's and then we get difference of y's. So now we have the difference. Now we're gonna use the formula to get distance between those points. So we're gonna type in double this distance equals um, square root. You might not have square root actually. Yes, because I added adds this to your main, and then you will be able to use um my functions x square root uh, power and a few more like cosine signs so to do square root use type sq rt then you just pass in 
float to double. So we're gonna pass in a different time different x dot times different x. Plus um different y times oops uh different y. So this is the basically formula to get distance, you square root uh x to the power of two plus y to the power of two, the difference. And that will get you a distance between two points. And then we simply return distance. Uh, and we made void, so we'll actually change this to double. And we have it we have to change this to double here as well. Okay, so we have okay, so we have distance. Now we can use this here. Okay, so let's get the distance between top and mouse position. So let's create float and call it this distance distance and make it equal to get distance and now we're passing in point one and point two. So point one is Bob's Bob. Okay, and point two is mouse x mouse y. So we have the distance between Bob and mouse position. Okay, so now we're going to do Bob get x minus mouse x by by distance, and that will that will get us a vector unit for x. I mean uh, x unit. And then you just multiply by the speed. So this is some basic maths. But so let's make speed 1.5 f. And I just realized, and I just realized this will be a problem because x position is in integers, and this will cause problems because it will keep um, rounding up the value but for now let's just paste that in and y will be sx sy set x set get y mouse y okay and that will be the same exactly thing here. Later we can change, make this one less statement and make this one less statement actually. Let's see if actually that works. But I think they will give us uh, some... That, that gives us problems. Get. Oh, yes, that gives us problems because we're getting x here. Actually, we didn't change that. That's what we get for copying. So make sure this is all y's and this is all x's. It's still... It's not correct. This is not correct at all because... Um, we have to we have to change sprite, or sprite a little tiny bit we have to change our sprite so it actually the position is in floats so actually you pass in floats and you set floats here as well 